Trojan Family, Trojan Family, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about Benny Wiley and why I'm here today to put to rest the case of Benny Wiley being lost in the sauce. Listen, there were so many um, after the season that really talked about Benny Wiley in a negative light, man. It, it really, it kind of disturbed me, and me and another guy, we were kind of going back and forth and just kind of having a private conversation talking about Benny Wiley and why we both think that it had the, the, the downfall of the team this past season had absolutely nothing to do with Benny Wiley. Um, you guys know there were directives that were given to Benny Riley from the former, um, you guys know, DC. I'm not even going to necessarily say his name, um, but you guys know there were directives given and Benny Riley Wiley was only doing as I believe he was told. And as a result, um, players got, some got bigger, but some players didn't get all the way big, but because there were certain, there was a certain style of player, a more athletic look that the old defensive coordinator wanted. Now um, we see new directors that are given and I'm getting ready to show you guys some, a couple of guys um, that are absolutely looking like some monsters. Bear Alexander being one guy and shout out to a couple of guys. Um, uh, on Twitter, fight on Rusty. Um, he goes by Arrogant Nation. Man, he kind of put a picture of Bear Alexander, and I put one up, and then he kind of put one back up just to kind of show me where um, Bear Alexander was last year. And I almost forgot that Bear Alexander was that small because of the picture. Now, I mean, the, the drastic difference is crazy. And then I want to talk about real briefly a forgotten player. There is a forgotten player on the USC football roster that I think. He is going to absolutely flourish. We're going to talk about him. And look, the reason he's the forgotten player is, is because he really hadn't, he redshirted um, 2021 season, um, but he's he's a big body, man. Six foot five, 250 pounds. I want you guys to guess who that is before, <laughs> while I'm doing this video. But listen, I'm getting ready to unveil him. But, but we've talked about this as well. How many players that didn't get an opportunity because there were, so-called favors right there were favors on the team some people was essentially lost in the sauce they were never had an opportunity to see the field so how many of those guys could have played but didn't play and this is one of those guys that i think because when you talk about this kid this was a kid that was absolutely a lot of people talked about how he was making a lot of progress in practice and he's still here so we'll talk about him but let's talk about benny wiley first and this is the first thing i want to deal with right here and this is uh, Bear Alexander. You see this picture here. Bear Alexander, I put this up the other day on Twitter. Uh, Fight on Rusty actually put this up first. And then let me let me scroll back because I need you to really understand what's taking place right now. This is going to be Bear Alexander. And, I, and once I posted this picture up, uh, I said the tweet that I had on the picture, I, I said uh, the way I worded it, I said Bear Alexander looks like he gained about 15 pounds. And his dad, Tony Jones, came back and said, actually, it was 10. So I was kind of right there. But Bear Alexander, you can see here, he's already picked up 10 pounds. So, man, we're talking about what, like 315 right now? Bear was at, what, what was he at, 305? So he's at 315 now if it's a 10-pound. And he's look, he's looking thicker, man. He's looking – You, I don't know how close you guys can see the picture, but when I look at it close, you can actually see, like, kind of the veins. And this was a picture of Bear last year. You see the drastic difference. Um, while I was having this conversation with Final and Rusty, he put this picture up and he said, here's the difference right here. So now you see a drastic difference from Bear Alexander from, from this year and Bear Alexander from last year. And it's like absolutely incredible. Let me just rewind that back one more time you can, so you can see the difference. This is Bear Alexander this year. Well, now um, after Benny Wiley got a hold of him, and he really, really put boots on the ground and really started moving the groove. And now this is Bear Alexander from last year. You guys can see the difference here. Bear Alexander is absolutely looking like a monster. So here's the question. How many other guys right now are looking like that, man? Benny Wiley, um, I I'm very, very impressed. And I'm going to show you guys some things as, as it relates to what Benny Wiley's doing in the weight room because these guys are hitting PRs right now. And we're seeing several guys that are in the weight room moving and grooving. Let's take a look at this. This is uh, Jacoby Lane is absolutely going crazy after after this big time lift. But in this lift right here, 
you're going to see several guys lifted. And as I stated, they got PRs. And the first one you saw, you see there is going to be uh, Eason Arnold, the big-time linebacker. He did 500 for three, three reps, 500 pounds for three reps. Then the next one you're going to see is Millie Mill, Jamil Muhammad. He did 500 for three reps as well. So these two linebackers are doing 500 for three reps. And you see Benny Wiley is really um, – he's working with these guys as well and putting phenomenal weight on him as well. And you see how strong these guys are getting. And here is Devin Tompkins. He's the actual forgotten guy that I'm getting ready to talk about as well. Devin Tompkins is that guy. But he's doing 500 for two reps here. And when I saw him in this video, it really sparked my mind. I said, Devin Tompkins is that guy, man. But let, let's take a look at – but in Elijah Hughes, who I told you guys is going to be my breakout player, he did 600. He did more than anybody. 600 for two reps. Unreal. And you telling me that Benny Wiley is not doing it? And this is Makai Lemon with the PR. He's just running like crazy. He's getting explosive. And then you're going to see Anthony Beavers as well out there moving and grooving and really being explosive as well. So these guys are actually actually – putting in a lot of weight a, a lot of work rather and i don't think people really understand what benny wiley's doing and what i like about benny wiley ben, benny wiley is a guy that practices what he preaches and this is the reason why you'll see him here he's repping out this 315 let me run that back benny wiley's repping out that 315 pounds and and look, man, it's straight up go time with Benny Wiley, man. So he's practicing what he preaches. He's implemented the program. He got directive, and now he's doing it um, all across the board with these guys. And there's several guys other than Benny, uh, other than Bear Alexander. And here, here you're gonna see here USCJ. This is gonna segue me real quick, real quick commercial break. This is why I use Bucked Up because I do the same thing as what Benny Wiley do. I do the 315 pounds. I use Bucked Up. You guys, don't forget, go to buckedup.com, use promo code USCJ32, and you will get a discount. There's several people that has already taken advantage of that. I'm doing what Benny Wiley's doing. I'm on that Benny Wiley program. So look, man, Benny Wiley, as I stated, is practicing what he preaches, and it's straight up go time. It's on and popping. It's on and cracking. And now we're starting to see, not only did we see, these are several guys that we saw um, that gained weight. Of course, I just stated Bear Alexander. Marquise Gallegos, he just gained some weight as well. I believe it's 12 pounds. Um, Elijah Hughes, I don't know the exact weight, but he looks like he gained some weight. Um, he's just looking thicker. Braylon Conley, coincidentally, texted me over the weekend. He told me he's gained some weight. And I asked him, I said, are you on that Benny Wiley program? He said he's partially doing that program along with what he's doing at home because he's not on campus yet. So he's kind of picked up that as well. And so <clears throat> they sent him some information on what to do so he told me he picked up nine pounds i wrote it down and so i said man that's what's up man so Gr braylon conley's getting bigger uh he's at home he hadn't even got full taken taken full advantage of it yet there are a lot of guys right now that a lot of people don't realize are getting bigger right now because the directors are different so i'm i'm here today to give benny wiley big time credit and big time shout out because there are too many people that um act like he didn't know what he was doing man benny wiley is a is a masterful um, uh, sports nutritionist, sports um, director, and uh, player development. I, I think he knows exactly what he's doing. Now, let me get to this real quick. This is this is important to me because I believe that Devin Tompkins is the forgotten guy. You guys saw him in the in the uh, video there putting up that big weight. Devin Tompkins, um, he looked like he's getting bigger as well, standing at six foot five, two hundred and sixty pounds. He's not going to be the rush in. But he's going to be the defensive end. And he's one of those guys that I believe that once Coach Eric Henderson gets a hold of him, because if I'm not mistaken, the rush ends are going to go with Sean Nua. And maybe they even going to go with they they even going to go with Sean, they're going to go with Sean Nua. I'm not sure if it's just the 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 uh defensive uh the defensive line, the nose tackle, the D tackles, if they're gonna go with Eric Henderson, but I'm thinking the uh defensive end as well. But I hope Eric Henderson gets a hold of him because this guy right here, he's a guy that's just hadn't been polished all the way. He's a guy that I believe that can move and groove. And I believe you guys remember we hear we heard it so much in practice how he was doing so well and how he was developing. Uh, but but I believe that Alex Grinch, you know, they just did not use him and we didn't see him. 
how many guys that have untapped potential that uh, these guys fail to use, um, you know, is on this roster right now. I believe Devin Tompkins is one of those unpolished guys that once he gets tapped into, it's going to be straight up goal time, man. You guys drop those comments in the comment section. You guys can tell me what you think. And you mark these words, Devin Tompkins, he might be one of those guys, man, that come from out of nowhere. You hear me? So, look, man, until later on, listen, I'm out of here, man. Um, everybody, don't forget, everybody stay blessed. And don't forget, make sure you get your bucked up shots. These are shots I use. I don't drink coffee, but uh, but I do drink these bucked up. Uh, I keep the energy drinks downstairs in the refrigerator. If I don't want the uh, energy drinks, I will get some of these. They have pre-workout stuff, but I don't even – I don't necessarily do the pre-workout. This give me – this enough caffeine for me to get me rolling, man. You know the pre-workout – they have some other stuff that a lot of other guys might use that'll get you really over the top. I'm already, I'm naturally wired up anyway. So look, man, you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. It's USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Listen, I'm out of here. Everybody stay blessed. Don't forget, make sure you get up, get out, and make some things happen until later on. Fight on, fight.